Welcome to SATCONS 101, an educational activity of the International Astronomical Union's Center for the Protection of the Dark and Quiet Sky from Satellite Constellation Interference, or CPS. This activity aims to promote factual understanding of large satellite constellations in order to help participants come to reasoned and informed opinions about this important social and technological issue. Today's topic is satellite constellation design and operation. The Center's mission is to coordinate efforts and unify voices across the global astronomical community with regard to the protection of the dark and quiet sky from satellite constellation interference. My name is John Barentine, and I co-lead the Community Engagement Hub of CPS. My training is in optical and infrared astronomy, and my current professional work involves freelance consulting. Since 2019, I have worked on policy and advocacy issues around large satellite constellations. I will present to you on today's topic. These are the learning objectives of the SATCONS 101 curriculum. Participants will gain exposure to these ideas in the course of viewing all of the presentations in the series. Opportunities to learn more about any given topic will be offered in each module as well as to contact the Center for further information. SATCONS 101 is a series of learning modules covering eight broad subject areas. Each module is a short, self-contained video presentation covering one of the subject areas. They can be viewed individually or in any combination up to the full set. Viewing all eight presentations constitutes exposure to the complete SATCONS 101 curriculum. Today, we will focus on the topic of satellite constellation design and operation. In the next few minutes, I will discuss each of the following elements that relate to the topic of this video. Satellite constellation designs range from very small arrangements of only a few satellites up to arrays of thousands or more. The needs of the constellations operator determine the details of these designs. First, let's consider the smaller constellations. While there is no clear dividing line between what makes up a small or large constellation, the small ones tend to involve only a few dozen spacecraft. They are in general cheaper to launch and maintain, requiring the fabrication of fewer satellites and rockets. Few satellites in higher orbits can achieve global coverage if signal latency isn't a concern. And yet their missions can be quite complex. An example of such a small constellation is the Global Positioning System, or GPS. Consisting of only 24 satellites, the GPS constellation provides very precise timing signals to receivers on the ground. To achieve global coverage, the satellites fly at an altitude of around 20,000 kilometers above Earth. The time delay in the arrival of their signals determines the distance between the satellites and an observer. This in turn helps precisely locate the observer on the surface of the Earth. Large satellite constellations involve both unique capabilities and challenges. Those proposed or launched to date provide telecommunication services. Their goals are to enable global communications at high speed. This in turn imposes certain requirements on their design and operation. The highest signal speeds mean satellites must fly at low altitudes of only a few hundred kilometers. But since the area of signal coverage on the ground depends on the height of the spacecraft, more satellites are needed to get the job done. The result is that many satellites must be visible over a given location at one time to effectively move data. And even then, these satellite networks rely on ground stations to distribute their signals. Direct links between satellites using means such as lasers further reduce signal latency. This can also help in places where there are no ground stations, such as over the world's oceans. And as the cost of satellite fabrication and space launches fall due to mass production, it's easier than ever to overcome some of these challenges. Communications uses represent the function of most satellites launched to date. For commercial constellations, large ones are thought to be most effective in providing fast data speeds virtually anywhere on Earth. 
some customers are already using this capability to serve high-speed internet access to moving platforms like airplanes and ships at sea. Others have expressed interest in using large constellations to handle mobile telephone calls. Further uses involve tracking of assets with GPS-like methods and augmenting systems known as Internet of Things. Militaries are also very interested in their own large constellations. Some have indicated their desire to launch and operate their own systems, while others are content to buy access from commercial space operators. Satellite constellations offer quick and secure communications with troops in the field. Proprietary GPS systems offer extremely reliable position information. And small constellations can help guide weapon systems to reach their targets while minimizing collateral damage. There are also many uses for satellites beyond communications. Civil applications are mainly represented by Earth observation facilities. These provide crucial information about weather forecasting, climate change, land use patterns, and disaster recovery. Such users are often governments deploying expensive observatory facilities. There is also an increasing presence in space by private commercial enterprises whose activities range well beyond communications. Some ideas have not yet been tested and are more future looking. These include collecting solar energy and beaming it to the ground to generate electricity, mining asteroids for rare metals, and even space advertising. Manufacturing and assembly in space is another activity proposed by governments as well as private actors. Military priorities in space have existed since the dawn of the satellite era. Defense ministries may deploy so-called satellite killer spacecraft in order to conduct anti-satellite or ASAT operations in space. They may use high-powered lasers to nudge civilian or military satellites into or out of harm's way. And cyber warfare may prevent satellite operators from being able to maneuver their spacecraft. Thank you for watching this presentation. For additional information about this and other subjects related to large satellite constellations and their impacts on astronomy and the space environment, contact the center at the address or website shown here.